and I need to log in and see what might be awaiting me. So, here we go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Soap the Great, and I am playing on the Too Crafty Vanilla Amplified server once again. How is everyone doing? I hope you are doing well. So, how'd you like the little tour with Contract? And previously to that, how did you like the build of this lighthouse? I quite enjoyed this build. I really like the results. I am very, very excited that that is finally done. And I have a little bit of a skin around this base. And that means that we can continue work here, kind of finishing things up. And that is why I'm up here, because I'm going to tell you what we're going to be doing today. So, quite some time ago, really early on after we got the witch farm installed, I came up here and built some 3x3 three three farms. A uh, cactus farm here, this reed farm and then the pumpkin and melon farm right here and right now I think I've just got it producing melons yep because I needed that for a little prank we played on Khan so uh, excuse me for a moment if my voice sounds kind of off right now it is because I am just getting over a cold I will spare you the details but uh, but yeah things are moving right along but I do have the weird uh, occasional phantom sneezes that want to make their appearance so I will try to avoid that so anyway enough about that we are going to be moving the melon and pumpkin farm and the reed farm and I, I did tear down the cactus farm mostly because I needed the room for that contraption and we're going to be moving that so those three and then it's going to involve the slime ball sorter and disintegrator so these four right here we're going to take care of so let's go down to where I'm going to be doing this so oh I forgot to tell you why I'm doing this so you know I really like automation you you know I've got the slime farm and that is feeding into the storage system down below um, the problem here with the sugarcane farm is that I have to manually come and collect these items and you might be calling me lazy but I really want this base to be doing a lot of that automated grindy stuff so that we can focus on like building and maybe interacting with villagers and various things like that so th this stuff I don't like coming around and collecting it we're going to do this in an automated fashion and uh, if you've been watching my channel you will know that I recently posted a concept for a sugarcane farm on the channel How's my thing doing? Okay, um, you may be wondering at the golden carrots. I will explain that in just a moment. So over here, I had been playing around with a concept sugarcane farm. And I was thinking, you know, what if we use the slime blocks? Kind of like we've seen with, uh, with Impulse SV's design. But instead of having a timer, because, you know, I don't like timers. Let's try and use a cactus timer. So I was playing around with it, and then I, you know, there was a lot of different configurations, and I really got tired of going back and forth here, digging things out, and trying again. So I went over into my creative testing world and threw together that concept. It took me a little bit to, to really shrink it down and compact it, but uh, I got something I like. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this concept and move it down there. Why? Well... I have a water collection system already. So in the concept video that I showed, we we used hoppers. And uh, what do we need to do? We need to go over here. I used hoppers to collect the items. And uh, that is a little lag intensive. And given that we already have this water collection system that is carrying the slime, to those hoppers down below into that item elevator, I figured we might as well just put that to use. Use me for a moment there. Just running around. Oh, there's some zombies around. I need to light this place up a little bit better. So let's go over here and see if we can pop in here. 
I am currently sharing the mob cap with Contric, who he's up to 17. Wow. Let's see, get up here. Good. And then let's see if I can reach this. I don't want to throw those. Let's go up here. Oh, missed it. Let's try a different angle. There we go. And wait for that. Is that it? Okay, yeah, that's it. So, if we've got the slime farm going, and uh, I had that turned off for a while, just put a lever on that clock down there and turned off the slime ball um, delivery to the main base. Um, and that would be a problem if we put the reed farm in here because I want that thing to be sending the reeds up. So what I did is I put a little sorter. It is in line to our um, item pipe here. And if you take a look, we're we'll back up here. You see I'm sorting out slime balls. So I've got slime balls in all three of these. If I really need more filters, I can just uh, throw some more over there. And then all of those items are getting put into a little dropper hopper clock. And that is shooting them onto this piece of cactus, which destroys them. So any slime that come through, they get destroyed. So, yeah, I don't really need more slime balls. If I ever find a need, or the server ever finds a need for all the ones that I already have, then we'll come up here and, and do a little change up. But, uh, but yeah, for now, we just have the slime balls coming up here. And that means that we can... Uh, we can put our reed farm... In here so we've already got this clear space it's not any part of the slime farm I'll come three blocks off of each of these and put a glass wall and then we'll put the reed farm behind it and then I'm also going to use that concept that I showed in that good enough that uh, you may have seen get up there yes I'm getting better with these still not perfect but uh, but getting there and I still didn't pick that up. Okay, maybe some lag or something. But well, there we go. Um, so yeah, I'm going to build that. And I'm going to do most of that off camera because I've got some footage that I would like to show you. And it should explain where I'm getting these golden carrots from. So yeah, Kondrick and I did a little project in the nether. And I would like to share that with you. And so you can enjoy that while I'm gathering materials and going and building this farm. And then when we come back... I'll take you through what I've done. All right. I will see you after that little clip. All right. All right. Well, <laughs> so um, yeah. let's see. What you know? We're we're in a strange place here, Kondrick. Yes, very it's strange. Kind of devoid of much of anything. I mean, there's some yes. life over there. Some uh, some mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> so where where is this place? What are we doing? Um, I think we have a project that we've been wanting to do for a while, and we just finally are getting around to it. And uh, it has something to do with experience and and possibly some some rotten flesh and maybe a little bit of gold, okay, something like that. Okay, I think this is probably <laughs> a good place for it. Yeah, where we I think are. So. Uh, yeah, so we've already taken care of the particular. So uh, what we're gonna do? What design are we going with? I think we're going to go with uh, Impulse's design. Okay, so for those of you on my channel, I've already done one of these, so we're not going to watch the whole thing, but uh, we'll just, you know, with two people, you never know what's going to happen, so... Um, yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Um, all right, and uh, let's see here. So go all the way to Sky Limit, and then... Uh, we're going to go to where you're looking at 143. So my feet will be at 140 or on top of 143. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Well, I guess this is as good as play uh, as good of a place as any. Um, yep. So I might yep. as well just start jumping. All and right. I have three screens going up. So <laughs> sorry to my viewers. <laughs> and I'm gonna cut out for now, and uh, we'll see Wait, what you happens. Said 140. You said 143 or 243? Because this is 143 right here. One, I don't, 243. I don't think, yeah, okay. I thought so. 
a little bit of a platform going and the way the design goes um, has most of the farm that way oh okay. so you come up on the back end of the ladder but um, one thing I found in building it is that um, you, you need to have enough space around the minecart so when you get out you don't fall all the way to the bottom and okay, what's next now what we do we need to lay down the where the rail track is gonna go all right, I think what we're gonna do uh, is get started on the spawning platforms right yes and the spawning platform is gonna be on top of that See? okay um so now don't we need something to keep them from landing on us oh wait no it's it it makes them all run back to the front. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that'll be... Oh, we're going to have to make another trip. Did you bring wood? I did not. Nor did I. So we will have to go back to the overworld and get some trapdoors. This is to keep the pigmen in. Okay. And you just do this out all the way. And we'll do that on the bottom floors once we get back to those. We leave the backside open so that magma cream or magma cubes will will just drop off the back and then uh, let's see here come on place is it going to place no place what's going on there what what height are we at? <laughs> well, I've got what do I Ooh, got my here? pick is silk touch. Yay. And I've got a silk touch as well. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen. Yes. yes um let's take a look at the F three screen here. Um yeah. looking at it. Two forty three point five. Yeah, we need to be down one. So yeah, we're going to be um we're going to be shifting <laughs> this down. This glass out. So, once we get that done, we'll be back. Yep. Well, ladies and gentlemen, yes, we did have to drop it by one. Yeah, cuz yeah. our, our maths were <laughs> off. So, um I'm I'm in the middle of dropping my spawning platforms down and Kondrick is getting started on his, so uh Yeah. We'll see who finishes first. So, what should we name this thing? Uh, <laughs> target target there we go pin cushion oh um, <laughs> i don't know target practice there we go Tar we'll name him target <laughs> practice all right so here we go got the name tag see a new one would show up over there yeah now we are going to have to make sure people remember to use snowballs so that uh so they don't actually damage him. There we go. Target practice. Hi, target practice. Cool. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. And uh, Kondrick, you see, is still filling in his spawn platform. Yep. yep. I, Almost there. I beat him. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, the redstone is done. And let's see. The progress thus far, our storage solution at the moment is temporary it's just a double chest yes. on a line of hoppers right here and it's been producing just a little bit just from the guys that are falling in yeah, <laughs> yeah just but, from them wandering off the edge like that guy just did <laughs> yeah and so uh, Kondrick brought some snowballs up here so he is and he's gonna give it the first try and we've both emptied most of our inventories just in case something horrible yeah. goes wrong which it could because these are pigment. Yes. So uh, I uh, guess that means I need to hop in the cart. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, you got the snowball ready? Yeah. To go hit target practice? Yep. All right. Inaugural run. Here we go. Oh, Just wait for it. And... Oh, so we're waiting. Come on. <laughs> wait. Waiting for the wait, hopper timer. Wait. There we go. There we go. Oh, Let's boy. see. Let's see. Is this going to work? So when I get right here? Yep, there we go. Okay. Now, 
I've just gotten a Skype message saying that I should be recording the moment that I log back in. So we've had a little cut and I've done some work on the farms that we had talked about starting and you've just seen a clip of the gold farm build with Kondrick and I need to log in and see what might be awaiting me. So here we go. Not gonna do it. Yep, there we go. I am in my storage room. Okay, and now because of the gold farm, you know why I have golden carrots. Yeah, so let's go up top. We'll take a look at the farm in just a moment. Uh, that's me messing with villagers. Okay, nothing up here. Let's drop back down here, and I need to get some of these guys just for good measure because we've got to take a look at that farm. I have finished it. Let's go down here. Nothing, nothing. And this particular message was from D. Oh, we've got a witch that has gotten loose. Let's make sure that nobody is out. That's what that uh, up and down of the pistons was. Let's make sure. Ah, one is out right there. No, that's fine. Yeah, that's all fine. Okay, let's go out here, because this tends to be where people leave pranks. Let's come on out here. Ah, oh, very nice. Ah, soap, because uh, that's my nickname. Yeah, there we go. That's awesome. And you can see the farm right there. That's great. So that is from D. That, that's not a prank. This is awesome. I should just leave this up here, and this can be for whoever wants to do whatever prank. This can be the canvas on which they do their pranking. That looks really good. I don't think I could have done a better bar of soap. Awesome. Well, thank you, D. What is that made of? Can I get up there? Yes. Snow. Okay. Well, there we go. All right. So we have seen that. I like it. So I'm going to leave that up kind of like I've left the slime right there from Zaid. But here we go. This is what I've done. I told you that I was going to put the sugarcane farm. And we'll go down and take a look at that in closer detail. But what I want to do first is just give you an idea of how many lines on this thing we've got. So I'm going to go to a field of view of 30. That gives you a bit of a zoom level. You see that? So we've got what? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we'll go back to field of view normal. There we go. And we've got two sides and they are 10 plants wide. Okay, so I couldn't do the full 12 like sticky pistons can do because of the corner right there. But uh, I think it turned out really well. I like the look of it. And that's what, 12 times two times 10. So we've got a lot of sugar cane that we can harvest. So if they all grow, the, the max that they're going to do is two. I bet you that goes, okay, it didn't go into the the uh, drop platform. That's good. Get a little bit of lag. We've got a lot going on on the base now. So, so yeah, that's uh, something to, that we need to watch. Let's eat one of these delicious golden carrots. Probably two of those. Yeah, all right. And... As before, there's not really a good way to get in and around the base or around the uh, the industrial thing here. 
let's go. You can hear the uh, the destroyer right there going. Let's pop up here. Yeah, we're getting some lag. And we'll go over here. All right. So you can see we've got a pretty good setup here. What do you think? Now I ran out of obsidian partly through the build and I had to go to the end and go get some more. So if anybody on 2Crafty is wondering why in the world we're missing some end platforms, that would be me. Yep. And here we go. So as I told you uh, early on, my intention here was to have a sugarcane farm that was driven by cactus timers and melon and pumpkin timers. So there we go. That's a little homage to Confound It. He always suggests doing cactus timers. And so there we go. We got eight of them. And they're all driving the mechanism here. It's a torch tower that goes up and alternates, alternates uh, the lines back and forth so we don't get too many piston jumping at the, at the same time. And then we've also got a melon and pumpkin farm here. It's um, it's not the most efficient, but I did have to fit this into this little area back here. And that didn't go at all. Huh. That is surprising. Let's put that here. And we'll see if that is working. Maybe it got caught on... Um, No, okay, that's not working at all. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I see. Do you see it? It's hard to see from this point. I missed a piece of redstone, so I'll have to fix that. And I have no blocks on the bar. So we'll just need to get out of here, bring some redstone down, but that is why that side is not working. Okay, good to know. Good to know. We'll just, just, uh, you know what? I'm going to leave that as is. And so we'll take care of that a little later. But, yeah, so I've still got a little bit of cleanup to do. I've got to take out the old farms. And then I need to put that piece of redstone in. But, uh, but yeah, there we go. So I am quite happy with that setup. Can I get up there? There we go. And can we get in there? Yes, all right. So I'm going to go get some redstone, but that is pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe we can go up top and take down our our um, ideas board things. I guess I need to eat too. Up, 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 up. Come on. And sometimes when we're having lag issues, and we sometimes get that when I'm recording at night. And that's when I'm currently on CenturyLink. That's when they tend to start throttling everybody or everybody starts getting online. And I've got DSL. And um, that's, that's not so good for peak time. So we've got the slime ball Sorter and Disintegrator. You can take that down. And then we've got uh, the Reed Farm has been successfully transplanted. Same with the Melon and Pumpkin Farm and the cactus farm. So there we go. Did I pick up all those signs? We should have four. Yep. And I'm going to put that. We'll just do empty for now. And if you've got ideas, things you want to see here on Too Crafty or collabs you want to see me see me do, uh, we still got caving we've got to do with J and D. Take care of that. We're trying to get the schedules figured out, but uh, that is coming. Don't you worry. Uh, if you've got some other ideas, feel free to suggest them. I'll put them up here. But uh, but there we go. Oh, D was here. Ha! Nice. That's a good one. See anything else? Move cow farm. Did she do anything else? That's good. I'll leave that one. Ha! Ah, nice little detail. But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.